First, Mr. President, as you well know, there's a new report that in 2016, the year you were elected president, and 2017, your first year as president, that you paid $750 a year in federal income tax each of those years. I know that you pay a lot of other taxes, but I'm asking you the specific question. Is it true that you paid $750 in federal income taxes each of those two years? I paid millions of dollars in taxes, millions of dollars of income tax. And let me just tell you, there was a story in one of the papers. Show I paid, your tax I paid $38 million one year. I paid $27 million Show us your one tax year. returns. I went... Uh, you'll see it as soon as it's finished. You'll see it. You know, oh. if you want to do, go to the Board of Elections. There's a 118-page or so report that says everything I have, every bank I have, I'm totally under-leveraged because the assets are extremely good, and we have a very... We have a, we, I built Sir, a great I'm asking company. you a specific question, which but is... But let me tell you... I, I understand all of that. I, I understand all of that. But, but, but let me... I, no, Mr. President, go ahead. I'm asking you a question. Will you tell us how much you paid in federal income taxes in 2016 and 2017? Millions of dollars. You paid millions of dollars? Millions in, of dollars, So yes. not 700 Millions of dollars, and you'll get to see I, it. I, and you'll get to when? see it. But let and me Shalom? just tell you, Chris, let me just say something, that it was the tax laws. I don't want to pay tax. Be before I came here, I was a private developer. I was a private business people. Like every other private person, unless they're stupid, they go through the laws, and that's what it is. He passed a tax bill that gave us all these privileges for depreciation and for uh, tax credits. We build the building and we get tax credits like the hotel on Pennsylvania Avenue. You get okay. a massive, which, by the way, was given to me by the Obama administration, if you can believe that. Now, the man got fired yeah, no, no, right look, after that happened. But Vice that's President all. Biden, you want to respond? Yeah, I do want to respond. Look, the tax code that made him put him in a position that he pays less tax than a school teacher makes on the money a school teacher makes is because of him take he says he's smart because he can take advantage of the tax code and he does take advantage of the tax code that's why i'm going to eliminate the trump tax cuts and we're going to i'm going to eliminate those tax okay. cuts and make sure that we invest in the people who in fact need the help People out there need help. But why didn't you do it over 20, uh, the no, last no, no, 25 wait, years? No, because you I, weren't, pres you over because you weren't president years. screwing no, no, things no, no. up. You were a senator. And You're the, the worst way, president vice... America has ever had. Hey, hey Come Joe, on. Let, me, let me just tell you, Joe. I've done more in, in 47 months. I've done more than you've done in 47 years, Joe. We've done things that you never even thought of doing, okay. including Gentlemen, fixing the broken military that you gave me, let's, including let's, taking care of we're your talking, Mr. President, we're talking about the economy. I'd like to ask you about your plans going forward, because, uh, Mr. Vice President, your economic plan, if you were to be yes, elected sir. president, uh, focuses a lot on big government, big taxes, big spending. I want to focus first on the taxes. You propose more than $4 trillion over a decade in new taxes, on individuals making more than $400,000 a year and on corporations. President Trump says that that kind of an increase in taxes is going to hurt the economy as it's just coming out of a recession. Well, just take a look at what is the, the analysis has been done by Wall Street firms. Points out that my, my economic plan would create 7 million more jobs than his in four years, number one. And number two, it would create an additional $1 trillion in economic growth because it would be about buying American, that we have to, we're going to make, the federal government spend $600 billion a year on everything from ships to steel to buildings and the like. And under my proposal, we're going to make sure that every penny of that has to be made by a company But, but respectfully, in sir, I'm talking about taxes, not spending. Oh, well, uh, by the way, I'm going to eliminate a significant number of the tax. I'm going to make the, the, the corporate tax 28 percent. It shouldn't be 21 percent. You have 19 company, uh, 91 companies, federal, I mean, in the Fortune 500, who don't pay a single penny in tax, making billions of dollars. Why didn't you do it before billions of dollars. you were vice president because, with Obama? Because you, in fact, passed that. That was right. your I tax it, proposal. I got it done. And you know what happened? Yeah, you got it done. Our economy boomed and, and, like uh, it's yeah, never boomed. The economy well, that, is busted.